Tax time is officially here. And currently there are some tax preparers that will go ahead and prepare your taxes for you. Although the e-file date, the date that the IRS will start accepting tax returns is January 23rd. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine and I'm an accredited financial counselor and a tax professional. For over a decade now, I've been helping individuals save money on their taxes and to get their financial life together. And today, I'm going to give you things that you need to do right now to be prepared for tax season. The first tip that I would give to you is to create a tax form checklist. On this checklist, you will list out all the tax forms you are expecting to receive so that when they come in, you just check them off. And once you are complete with your checklist, you know it's time to file your taxes. Now, I'm referring to tax forms like W-2s, 1099s, unemployment tax forms. Even if you took a distribution from your retirement account, that will prompt a tax form. Now, for whatever reason you don't understand or don't know what tax forms that you should be expecting, look at the history of your year to see what all you did that year, right? And Google is your best friend, your tax preparer from last year is your best friend. Ask them, should I be expecting a tax form for this event that I did? A bonus tip on this one is, if you worked for a temp agency last year, and then was later hired on within that same year, you will be receiving two W-2s, one from the temp agency and one from the current job that you hold. Next piece of advice I will give to you is to find a tax preparer right now. Now is the best time to find someone because everybody's kind of getting ready for the tax season, right? Getting all their paperwork together, but you don't want to rush into it. You want to make sure that you have the right tax preparer for you. So if you are an actor, so I work with a lot of actors. If you are an actor, you want to go to someone who understands entertainment taxes, right? So ask your friends, get referrals, and you can also go to the IRS website and research some of these individuals to make sure that you, they have the proper education, their P10, which is a prepared tax identification number. Get to know who you're going to be involved with because this is your money, right? You want to make sure that you're getting um, the best return that you can, that you're being able to deduct all the expenses and the tax preparer really understands you and your situation. Now a bonus tip for this one is if you make under $78,000 and of course don't, don't have a business which will prompt an, uh, a Schedule C form, but you just have a straight W-2, real simple, you can go to the IRS website and they have free uh, DIY tax software that you can use for yourself. In addition to that, you can also go to an in-person IRS sponsored program called VITA, but make sure that you call ahead or email whatever the center requires to make an appointment for yourself. And if you have had a name change as of December 31st of last year, make sure the Social Security Office has your new name and your ID has been changed so that it matches what the Social Security Office has. It's not too late to find out what your liability will be now that the year is over, right? So there's still a little bit of time. You can go to the IRS website and look up the liability withholding calculator. And with that calculator, you can put your income in there, what you expect to um, deduct if you like contributed to a traditional IRA, if you have kids, all of those things in there, give you all the options. And at the end, it will t tell you what your liability will be. Then you compare that liability, what they say you will technically owe. Uh, approximately and you compare it to what was withheld from your w-2 if you have a w-2 or what you have already paid in with your quarterly estimated taxes entrepreneurs you have created an LLC or you worked a lot as a contractor that income will go to a schedule C now with that, you will be paying, in addition to federal taxes, you will be also paying your Social Security and Medicare, both as the employer and the employee. So please be mindful of that. Now let's talk about income and expenses. With that, you need to be organized, like really organized. 
right? So if you are not organized as of today, get with an accountant, bookkeeper like myself to help you out or my advice would be to comb through those bank statements, those credit card statements, gather it all up either in simple form like paper and pen or Excel if you are good with that. It's just really just listing it all out, making sure that you have all of your deductions because you want to lower your income so it, it, it pretty much lowers your, um, your tax liability right so be prepared for that and deduct as much as you can and don't forget your home office deductions your lights your water your the cost of the things that's inside of your office your, your desk your chair pens paper printer lights all those things now before I get out of here, I just want to say one thing to the parents out there. If you had your child in daycare last year, if they went to a day camp last year, summer camp, after school care, those items can be deducted and go toward your dependent care expenses. So please, please, please contact those that daycare for sure. I just looked at my statement. I will be adding that. Contact the daycare, contact the account, make sure that you get the proper payment statement from them so they summarize pretty much how much you paid. You will, you will need their tax ID number, the name of the company, their address, and the amount in order to put it on your taxes. Thank you all for listening to my tips that you will need to prepare for tax season. I hope it was very beneficial. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Please like, share, and subscribe for the next video.